Steve, can you just chat to us about, you know, obviously heading into a World Cup, you know, what are the objective, objectives of, you know, this Australian side touring a, a South African T20 team that's in pretty good form? Yeah, they're a, a very good T20 team. They're, they've got some some class players, um, some players that can certainly take the game away from you very quickly. So, for us, um, you know, we want to win every series we play. Uh, I guess in the back of our minds, we know there's a World Cup not long away. Um, but for us, it's about focusing on this series and, and trying to do what we can to, to win this series. Uh, Patrick Hobson, the Mercury. Um, Steve, uh, how useful do you think this series is going to be, given the fact that the conditions in South Africa are probably closer to Australian conditions and that's some way away from being uh, Indian conditions? I think for us, um, it's just about playing some T20 cricket together. Uh, we haven't played a great deal of T20 cricket over the last couple of years, so it's a great opportunity for us to, to try and gel together as a unit um, but before the World Cup. Um, Hopefully the, the South African curators can, can try and make the pitches a little bit slow and, and turning. Um, I think that'll benefit both sides, so we'll wait and see what we come up with over the next three games. Okay, so talk from time. Granted that the India, India to 20 series took place in the, on a different level, do you feel that now that series crosses water under the bridge? Yeah, absolutely. That's that's gone. Um, that's in the past. You can't control that. For us, it's, it's about moving forward and trying to get... Um, I guess everything going in the right direction bef before this World Cup coming up. Um, you know, we've, we've got a few options for, for guys that can open the batting. There's there's about four guys, I guess, vying for a spot there. Um, the bowlers are, are working hard to get into the 11, but I think it'll take a, a whole squad to to win a World Cup. Um, you know, we saw in the, the One Day World Cup in Australia not long ago, we used all 15 of our players and that was very beneficial to us. So I think it'll take a, a full squad for us to to be successful in the World Cup. Sorry. Uh, Sam Derrick, uh, you've got five genuine all-rounders in the 15 minutes squad, probably a couple of us as well. Is that the key to T20 cricket flexibility? Yeah, I think for us, at, at where we're at at the moment, I think that's... Um, going to be crucial for us to be, to be flexible and um, I guess adaptable. Um, I think a lot of the, the all-rounders at the moment are, are bowling extremely well as well so that certainly helps us out. Um, you know we might be able to go a, a bit batter heavy I guess in a way playing a few all-rounders rather than some out and out um, bowlers I guess so it's nice to have the options there and and available. And in test cricket, you've got four main bowlers in the all-round, uh, but in T20 cricket, is seven the magic number for as many bowling options as you'd like? Oh, I guess it, it varies where you're playing, um, whether you play a couple of spinners or, or things like that. So um, it's nice to have a lot of options there. Um, that certainly helps out as, as a captain to, to have seven or six or seven bowling options. Um, so it's, um, yeah, it's nice to have those options. Steve, what are your thoughts on uh, the South African squad? Did you catch a bit of the, the, the England series? What are your thoughts on that? Yeah, I saw bits and pieces. Um, you know, I think that they're, they're a very strong squad. Um, you know, they've they've got some very good players that can can take the game away from you very quickly. And um, you know, we're not going to be taking them lightly in in this series here. Um, there's been, there have been a few articles in the in the papers and on the net recently, which have been kind of saying that we must start taking T20 cricket more seriously. For example, Mike Selby of the Guardian was uh, embedded with the Melbourne Renegades for 10 days and really wrote a very long piece assessing the ways in which T20 cricket is changing the whole game uh, at the moment. Uh, obviously, you guys have been taking the game seriously for a long time. But have you? Have you felt in the past that people have regarded T20 cricket as a bit of a slogathon, a sort of cricket entertainment, but not really the proper game? Uh, I don't think people have um, not said it's the, the proper game. Uh, I think when T20 cricket first started, it was a bit of a... Um, you know, hit and giggle kind of game, but I think that's changed very quickly. Um, you know, it's a, it's a very serious game now. It's a, a highly thought of game. There's lots of little tactics and, and those kind of things that all teams are coming up with. And it's a, it's a great game to play. Um, I guess it's compressed into 
quite a short format, obviously 40 overs. So it's extremely exciting for the fans that come out and watch. But it's certainly a serious game. And, you know, we've got a World Cup coming up. Uh, that's an extremely serious tournament. And we're all looking forward to being involved in that as well. Um, well, Friday, we just came back and just the top of the Australian saying we've come to the sixes and people won success and right to start last year. How's the game changed since your first captain for the sixes? Yeah, I think it's changed a lot. Um, you know, guys have, have got so many different deliveries in our days, you know, slower ball bounces, wide Yorkers, um, different kinds of slower balls and things like that. So I think the, the game certainly changed. Um, you know, guys are able to hit the ball 360 degrees, uh, which is hard to stop. And look, I, I just think that the game has changed so much. Um, it's moving forward and I think that's great. And how do you stop someone? It's very difficult to do. Um, you know, he's one of the most destructive, if not the most destructive batsman in the world, and he does hit the ball 360 degrees. So when he is going, he is very tough to stop. Um, but uh, we're going to have a few plans in place for him that, that will hopefully work. Um, but look, he's a, he's a terrific player and um, very hard to stop. Just finally, do you take confidence out of your form against guys like Alistair Cook and Williamson recently that you've I guess it's it's a bit of a different format of the game. Um, I think you know he's he's an absolutely quality player um, in in all formats of the game, and if he does get going, is extremely hard to stop. So we're going to have to come up with a few things to make sure he doesn't get started. That's all. Anyone else? Um, so obviously historically have always had a lot of all round options, but there's sort of a little bit of a lack at the moment. Chris Morrison, David Visa, have you seen much of them and, and what have you made of their made of sort of the last few months? Yeah, they've done very well. Um, you know, I saw a bit of um, uh, David Visa in the, the um, IPL. Uh, I played with Chris Morris in the IPL, so I've seen a lot of him. Uh, he's a very talented player and he's done extremely well lately. Um, you know, more with the bat probably than, than the ball. So, um, yeah, we know what to expect from, from our opposition. And, um, you know, they're a very good T20 side. So we're going to have to be at our best here if we're going to beat them.